Hey guys, what's up? Scrub Nation over here. Today we're going to learn how to make text, images, and videos move in Sony Vegas. First of all, you open up Sony Vegas, and yes, that is a crack Sony Vegas. Hashtag pirate life. Now you just drag, drag and drop in uh, your source video. I'm going to use Wally, because I like him. He looks cool. Now all you have to do, right click, insert video track, then you right click on that video track, press insert text media shall pop up with this I think I'm gonna use sample text for now and basically what happens in this video is that Wally comes out from down you see that Wally just comes out from there so I'm gonna animate the text to move with his head so it looks more natural so his head comes out right about now so I would splice my sample text and put it to over here and now this is where the main stuff comes in. You see this? This is the s full screen, so this is what appears on the screen, whatever's in the rectangle. If you take this out, that means the sample text is gone from the screen, which is what happens. And each time you move something, yeah, you get this thing, little dot type of thing. These are called keyframes. Keep that in mind because you will be re using keyframes quite a lot. So right now I just put it under the screen because Wally's gonna come from down. And now while Wally comes up, there you are. Okay. So Wally stops over here. So as you can see, I'm bringing this keyframe over here, and sample text just comes up over here. So it looks like, um, and as you can see, his keyframes made over there. As you can see, it doesn't really look that natural. So while it's in the middle, you can just edit out a bit more to make it look a bit more natural. And yeah, okay. Put it above his head. There you go. That's Wally. I'm just gonna do the thing where he stands up though, cause really that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Now as you can see when I play the video, the text moves up with Wally. That is the text way of doing it. Now imagine if I wanna insert an image and I wanna do the same thing with it. The process is quite similar. I have to go is insert an image. Let's say I want to give him a fedora. Drag and drop your fedora in. And just press this again like you had pressed it on this text. Event pan crop. Where does Wally come out at again? He comes. Okay, okay, okay. He comes over there. Good. I'll splice this up a bit. There you go. And I just want to see how big Wally's head is. Because I want to adjust the fedora to his head. Um. Does that really look natural? <laughs> Probably doesn't. But it's MLG, it's, it's just fun. These are one of the um, essentials that you need to know, know for MLGs, because, well, it's really important. Uh, okay, so we so this is just the normal thing. I'll drag the keyframe over here and I'll bring it all the way down, because that's where Wally is. And when Wally comes up... Wait, oh, sorry. I'll just keep that open in the side. You can move keyframes by just pressing that button over there. And I just want to see where Wally stops. Okay, I guess this is where he stops. Drag and drop the fedora on his head. Because he looks like a cool guy. Now you can just, you know, do some video scrubbing, move around, and see if it's actually natural. As you can see, the fedora is just appearing in front of his face, which is obviously not very natural. So you'll have to do this with a lot of stuff. Just check in the middle if it's actually working out. As you can see the hat's not also coming out right. Okay. There you go, let this out a bit, and there you go, you got a perfect one, right over there. I'll play the video for you. Wow! As you can see in the starting, we actually have a little, uh, header. Yeah, you see that? It's his head's over there and the fedora's not covering it. Just need to do this, and we're pretty much done. Wow! Yeah, that's how you do it. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is how to do it with videos. Videos, same thing, almost the same process. Now imagine in the once Wally comes out and he says, "Wow, I want someone to come over here," and that'll be the guy who says, "Nice," the British guy. I have a green screen of him. Um, there you are, Michael Rosen. Nice green screen. This guy's actually used a lot for uh, lots of MLG edits. This is when he says nice. 
Nice. I really like it the way he says it. Nice. I'll put up the audio and obviously I'm going to green screen this a bit. Uh, where is the green screen? Oh, there you are. Chroma key. Default. Okay. Choose this green screen and he comes out from there. Now I want him to pop up from down and say nice. And first of all, I'd like to flip him because I don't know why. You can use this to rotate. Yeah. I'll flip him over here. He comes up from here. Okay. Good. So this is his starting keyframe. And after a while, he comes out. He says nice. Nice. There you go. Wait. I think I may have messed that up a bit. Um let's see. Okay, good enough. Now you're just watching this thing. The guy just appears from up. Wow! Nice. Nice. And he just comes up from up. That's the way how you do it with images, text, and videos. So guys, thanks for watching. And if you want to check out my last video, which was MLG plugins for free. You can just click on the annotation on the screen right now. Bye guys, have a nice day. See ya.